Hello, my friends. You are here for a quick little um, announcement, request, bonus episode of the Love Your People Well podcast. Um, I did want to hop on today because you may have already heard this if you listened to episode 113, or you may have noticed if you subscribe to the show that, huh, it has not uh, popped to the top of your library in the last few weeks. You have not had a new episode. Um, But I wanted to hop on and just let you know that's on purpose. We are in the middle of a hiatus for the podcast. My plan is to come back after Easter of this year, which would give us uh, ultimately about a 10 week hiatus. Um, And in all honesty, my plan had been uh, post episode 113 and mention the hiatus and then have a little bonus episode, this very episode, just to tell everybody in case you don't listen to that episode so you know what's going on. Um, But then we all got sick. You can probably actually still hear it in my voice. I am not, uh, my voice is not totally back yet, but there were a few weeks there of just constant coughing and using every box of Kleenexes that the store had to offer and just, you know, I couldn't talk. You would not have wanted to hear my voice. Um, But (laughs) that is, Lord willing, behind us. And so I did want to hop on and let you know we are in a hiatus. It is on purpose. And I also wanted to give a little request because a part of this, um, a part of my purpose, I should say, in this hiatus is to take time to pray about the Love Your People Well ministry. How does it best fit into my life and, um, and achieve the goals and missions that I believe the Lord has for it? You know, how does this all look in the next season, kind of given where we are at personally for me and as a community? And so I would love to get your feedback. If you could just send me the world's shortest email or longest email, whatever, at jessica at loveyourpeoplewell.com. I would just love your feedback. What would you like this podcast to focus on? Um, Do you want shorter episodes or longer episodes? Do you want more Bible or less Bible? Are there certain topics that you really love it when I hit on it or I've never talked about it and you really want me to? Um, In my ideal world, I was going to make like a little survey on the website and you could fill it out. But I just have not had the time or energy to figure out the tech of how do you do that. And so instead, we're going to go semi old school and just say, I would love to hear from you. You can send me a little email, jessica at loveyourpeoplewell.com. And just let me know what you think. How is or could this podcast be the most helpful for you in your um, Christ honoring, Christ centering family life, your marriage, your parenting, your spiritual growth? your own just mental health, like what would be most helpful for you? I would love to hear that. And then um, just in the in the spirit of a hiatus, uh, you know, why hop on here if I'm not going to offer a little word of encouragement? There's an announcement. Hey, hiatus. There's a request. Hey, send me an email. Let me know your thoughts. But I also just wanted to comment on how wonderful and how meaningful silence can be. I really honestly struggle with the idea of going on a hiatus with the podcast. Like I'm that type of person when I commit to something uh, for good or for bad, I stick with it. And even though the Lord was really nudging me to take a little bit of a break, I was not listening. Um, But I am listening now. I'm taking the break. And thankfully, we got sick after I'd already announced the break. So that was a blessing in disguise. But um, I really have just been struck over these last few weeks of the of how meaningful moments or even seasons of silence can be. And maybe I'm thinking about that mostly because my kids have been sick and so they've been whiny and grumbly and gosh, I've been whiny and grumbly and they've been up all night crying and like our house has just been very loud in kind of an unpleasant way. And there have been little moments where the kids are actually napping really well because they're sick. Um, And just the other day, like a few times of nursing my son and not grabbing my phone. And so it's like, gosh, I got nothing to do while you're nursing for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And just taking that time to be silent with the Lord and, and think and pray and enjoy a moment of quiet, like actual literal quiet has been very refreshing. I did not expect it. I have not really planned it. The Lord has just kind of given it to me. Um, But even just in stepping back from some things like everything to do with the podcast, there's been a little more freedom, flexibility, 
when there is some downtime in my life, like I can use that time to do any number of things, but I'm not going to record a podcast episode. So just taking some things off the plate, you know, I don't know what, exactly what the Lord is going to do with all of this, but I wanted to just comment on that because in the busyness of my life, I'm married, I've got four little kids, I'm doing some little side things just like this, you know, keeping the house clean and like a thousand things going on every day. There is not a lot of silence in my life. I have not been intentional about it. I have not even really thought about it. But when it has come over these last few weeks, it has been really nice, really sweet. And it has really made me think and realize that I probably need this to be a more regular part of my life, if not even my daily routine. And I would encourage you, maybe you haven't thought about it in a while, maybe your life is similarly loud. Uh, It probably is because that's just the world that we live in. But take some time, take little moments, take three minutes, set a timer, whatever, and get some silence. And you don't even have to do anything with it. Like it's not necessarily a time to pray or a time to think about something specific, but just getting the noise out of your life, out of your head, out of your surroundings can potentially be really meaningful, helpful, encouraging, and nice. And so I just wanted to offer that encouragement, that little idea (laughs) while we are in this hiatus. I am going to now be seeking more moments of silence and see what the Lord might do in that. And I would encourage you to do the same. But uh, with all that in mind, uh, please do send me a quick email, jessica at loveyourpeoplewell.com. I would love to hear your feedback on how this podcast can be most helpful for you, most enjoyable for you and encouraging for you. Um, And we will, Lord willing, be back after Easter and uh, dive right back into this journey of Christian motherhood and married life and family life and all the things that come together when the Lord brings people together as a family and all the chaos and beauty that that includes. Um, We will be back then. So hugs and blessings to you, my friend. I'll talk to you soon.